I'm now going to give an overview of the 125 centimeter satellite dish and how to assemble it. Uh, the basic process here will be identical more or less to that for the 145 centimeter dish, but for this specific example, we'll work through the 125. So on my left hand side here, you'll see the actual 125 centimeter dish, uh, which we're going to use in assembly. It's because this is a relatively large satellite dish, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work through on this dish and um, show you the various component parts. So it's basically made up of four parts. The dish, which I've just shown you, and then on, on my worktop in front of me here, we have the actual arm that holds the LMB and, and bolts onto the back of the satellite dish. Um, we have the angle arm, uh, which connects um, onto the dish and also onto the bracket. Uh, and then we have a set of components here. And the, um, just what we have here is, this is how it comes pre-packed. And when you open up the set of components, you can see it here. So what we have here is, uh, we have uh, two brackets here with a series of nuts and bolts and screws and then an LMB holder as well. Now directly in front of me here, we have the full array of tools we're going to need for this assembly job. So what we have is we have a flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet, a, 12, a, a 10 and a 13 millimeter sockets and uh, indeed a 13 millimeter spanner as well. And the final part uh, of the jigsaw, which is not part of the kit, but you certainly need um, if you want to successfully install this dish, is a, a single LMB, which we can see here, and also we have a, a 55 centimeter arm that is bolted onto the wall and be used to support the dish. Um, and indeed, we have the final part of that jigsaw, which is a 10 millimeter uh, anchor bolt, which would use four of these to anchor this onto the wall. Ordinary um, raw uh, plugs and uh, coach screws probably are not sufficient to hold this. So because this is a relatively large and complicated um, dish, uh, we're going to do the assembly of this in three steps, okay? And this dish here is part of a wide range of large universal dishes sold by TV Trade, ranging from 60, 80, 110, 125, and also 145 centimeter dishes that are currently on our range. So the first part we're going to do is just the assembly of the back here. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to hold this here like this, and we will come along and we will assemble um, the brackets here. So what I'm going to do here is so if you got to assemble this screw in here like this. So what you'll notice here is the holes here are slotted. But um, So what we're going to do is this is to allow for fine adjustment onto the dish itself. So when I'm typing this in, I'll just hand tighten it, but no further than that. Okay, and I'm going to repeat the process here. purposes I turned it backwards there but um, quite difficult to work against myself so we're screwing this nuts and bolts in here and we obviously need to repeat this process for the bottom part so we come along here I hold this bracket into position I pick up another nut with a washer already in position hand tighten it in and screw it in like this So that's the four nuts and the four bolts assembled there. The next thing here is the actual elevation bracket to go on the back of this. We need to attach this onto the dish. So once again, we'll just slot this through like this. The U-bolts come pre-assembled on it. Quite convenient. And what we're going to do here is we've just slot it through like that. We'll just hold it here. Once again, these are all 13 millimeter nuts. I'm just going to screw it into position. So apologies for the, the, the camera angles on these. It's just quite a, a bit difficult. Um, just quite large to work with. Now, this dish assembly can actually be done, and my assistant here approved the earlier, um, single-handedly, but obviously um, a little bit of help can be useful. So for the next part of the process, what we're going to do is we're actually going to have an assistant holding the dish. Um, but it's mainly for demonstration purposes to make it easier that we're doing that. So now we have the final part of the assembly bracket here. And we're not going to tighten this all the way in, we're just hand tighten at this point. Okay, so that's the rear assembly of the satellite dish fully assembled there. So I'll just hold it up so you can have a look at it. So that's stage one of the assembly process is complete.
Um, so you can see the U-bolts are like this as well, okay? Uh, so we're going to move on to uh, stage two now. I'll now take the fully assembled um, bracket and arm here, and I'm going to now attach it onto the satellite dish, which has been held by my lovely assistant here. Now, one point I just no note here: it's important to check that the arms here, the, the brackets, fit smoothly onto the dish in line with the holes. It's actually possible to assemble this. It, we want, want to make sure that the bracket, the curve of the bracket, goes with the curve of the dish. So there's actually two ways this can be mounted onto the thing. And if you spot that it's wrong at this point, simply undo these two nuts here, rotate it around, and bolt it back on. Okay. So at this particular point, what we're going to do is I'm just I'm going to use this um, nut here. Um, I, I hold it with a flat screwdriver normally, but at this point I just push it up. I push it in through the hole here, and then I pick up a washer and a nut. A washer first of all, then a nut, and I just hand tighten it on. Okay, now I can tighten it on fully using a 30 millimeter socket as well, but I'll just quickly go around and do all four bolts at this point. to do this by yourself, but certainly nicer if you have friends. <laughs> um, but that's basically it. Um, when we see, uh, when, I, when I actually stand this up now, you'll see this as more or less a fully functioning, uh, fully assembled satellite dish. So this is more or less part three of the process um, complete. Okay. So we'll just hold it back here so you can see a full view. Here's the back part of the bracket, and then we'll just rotate it around, and here's the arm. Okay, the final step of this process is to actually come along and to um, put on the LMB and the LMB or the LMB holder. Okay, so as I said earlier, the LMB doesn't actually come with this, but um, what we'll do is here is we just bring this slightly closer and just pop it on my knee here like this. So what we do is we simply come along and insert the LMB like this, repeat the same process over here, and we get two screws. I'm going to put a screw in here and a Phillips screwdriver. And screw it into position. I get the screw here. So this final third stage is the quickest and hopefully the easiest. Um, so what we do then is we simply come along and we screw this into position here. So we're trying to line this up with the slots that we have on this dish here. Um, so I just want to see here quickly. Uh, so you can see there's a hole and I can actually see daylight on the far side. What we do here is we simply get this screw here and I pick up my 10 millimeter socket and we'll actually drive, drive this in. So just manually drive it, screw it through. Thank you. 